Hey Tiger Scouts, this is Alvin. We're here today to go over Tigers in the Wild. Okay, so we're going to start with the six essentials that we need to take with us when we go out on a hike. Number one is we need to have a full water bottle. You never want to start a hike without making sure you have plenty of water. Then, we want to have a flashlight. Now, we can either take a regular flashlight with us, or I prefer having one that goes on my head so I've got my hands free. Always want to make sure we have our first aid kit with us. Want to make sure we take a whistle with us just in case we get lost. Now, it's a beautiful day out here, sun's shining. We need to make sure we have sun protection. We can also protect ourselves from the sun if we have some type of a hat to go on our head. Now, we want to make sure we take a snack with us. And I've got a few different snacks here. i got a granola bar. This one has chocolate in it. Beef jerky. Or we can make our own snack trail mix and put our favorite food in it. Okay, now we want to make sure that we're prepared for any type of weather. Now even though today there's not a cloud in the sky, just in case that we get some rain, we want to make sure we've got a raincoat with us. Okay, now that's the six essentials, but there may be some other items you want to take with you. You may want to take some wipes to keep your hands clean before you take your snack. Or if you don't have wipes, just hand sanitizer. Okay? Now, tigers, before we go on our hike, let's flip to the back cover of our tiger book and go over a few things. We're going to do the outdoor code. As an American, I will do my best to be clean in my outdoor manner. Be careful with fire. Be considerate in the outdoors and be conservation minded. Now we're going to go over the leave no trace principle for kids. Know before you go. Choose the right path. Trash your trash. Leave what you find. Be careful with fire. Respect wildlife and be kind to other visitors. Okay, tigers, let's get our pack on and get ready to go on our hike. Are you ready? I'm ready, Bridget. All right. Hey Bridget. Yes, Alvin. Here's a pretty tree. This is a sycamore tree. How can you tell? Well, normally, look here on the ground. Right here is a big, beautiful leaf that has fallen to the ground from it. And here's another leaf. As fall is hit, the leaves are starting to change. Now, you can also tell the sycamore tree by looking at the bark on it right here. See how it's starting to like, it looks like it's peeling off. Yes. Well, as you move up the tree, look how smooth the bark becomes. Wow. And it becomes white. Now, let's look around real quick and see what other trees we might be able to find in the area. All right. A lot of beautiful trees around. Yeah, Bridget. What type of tree is this one? Well, Bridget, this is a dogwood tree. Let's see if we can find any leaves here on the ground. Oh, look, here's some. Yes. Notice how red they are this time of year. And look at the bark on it. It's like in little squares. Now, the good thing about the dogwood tree, Bridget. What? In the springtime, as it's first coming out, it has some beautiful blooms on it. 
Let's see what else we can find around here, Bridget. All right. Look over here. Right over here. We have a little bush. This is called Automala. These things are an invasive species. They're not native to around here. And they are just taking over and growing everywhere. Now, look at this tree right here beside us. Oh, it's a pretty yellow leaf? Yes. This is a beech tree. Now look at the bark on the beech tree. Again, it's smooth and gray. And you know what about the beech tree? What, Alvin? You can also sometimes see squirrels living in them and getting the nuts off of them. 